Today, we're loading up the car to recycle polystyrene, commonly known as styrofoam. And there's just one place in the Portland area where you can take it. Green Century Recycling in the northwest industrial part of town has a drop-off area where you can bring clean polystyrene to be recycled for a small fee. They also take used electronics and appliances to be either dismantled or repaired and resold. We talked with owner Chris Regis about the kinds of materials Green Century takes and what happens to it all after it's dropped off. We opened the doors to Green Century in 2008. We provide a public drop-off that's open six days a week where it's free to drop off electronic devices, plastics for a fee and styrofoam for a fee, as well as universal waste and solar panels for a fee. The styrofoam gets separated out into the different types of styrofoam. It gets chopped up and then it gets put through a densifier where it compresses it at a ratio of 90 to 1. So what goes in, a big, light piece of styrofoam comes out a very compressed, heavy brick. From there, they go to an intermediary where they'll buy it from us at pennies on the dollar, and then they'll chop it up and make it into new plastic products. At some point in the process, the polymer chains will break down where it will eventually get landfilled. Our advice is always to reduce the use of it. Try to buy used, try to choose manufacturers that are no longer using styrofoam to package. We really have to get away from single-use plastics. This year, we've recycled roughly two and a half million pounds. Of that two and a half million pounds, a small percentage of it was deemed viable for reuse. We test it, certify the data is destroyed, and then remarket it into our store where we have a 30-day repair, replace, refund warranty. We have laptops, desktops, cell phones, routers, audio gear, gaming systems. So we start with a laptop that came in from a customer. We're gonna give it a quick evaluation. And once the erasure is completed, we'll put a fresher operating system on it and list it for sale and somebody can come in and give that laptop a lot more life. If it's decided that it's not viable, they'll dismantle it, separate it out into its different parts, so plastic, gold-bearing material, copper-bearing material, and then from there it will go to a refinery where those commodities are recovered. When we talk about throwing things away, there is no away, right? Away is a landfill about two blocks from here, and that's where it goes and sits for a lifetime longer than your lifetime with a lot of this material. We highlight farm to table and knowing where our food comes from and staying really connected. The same thing really just applied for me with our waste. It's staying connected to what you buy, where it goes when you're done with it. And part of that is seeing that maybe you're done with it, but there is a viable life for it elsewhere. 